Oh, wait, does it, it can go down there. That's interesting. But let's first look at the stall. Or take the stall. Uh, rotten produce. Well, there's something to be said for truth in advertising. Yeah. Tomato. It's a tomato, rotten to the core. Can I take... Ooh! I just stole a tomato for some guy. <laughs> can I go further this way? Oh, I can! Whoa! Hello! Urchin meeting hall. Is this like a hall of heroes or something? I mean, those guys over here... You know, I'm not gonna go over there. You know what the guys I'm talking about. The old dudes, the strange weird guys that uh, just when you get into the place. They uh, keep talking about them being heroes and... Well, this one looks kind of like a hero, to be honest. Can I go further? Oh, I can! Holy whoa! Ha <laughs> tax collector! <laughs> That's what you get. But before we talk to any of these strange individuals... Let's head down here. See if there's anything sinister down this alley. Whoa! I don't know if I say... Ooh, buckets. Ah, I can't take the bucket! This rubber belt, funnel, machine, chickens. Wait, is that a chicken? That's the odd, that's the weirdest looking chickens I've ever seen. Whoa! Hi! What the hell is this thing? Let's look at the sign Dashing Dan, the effulent king. I thought the all kings were affluent. I don't know what that word means, actually. Let's look at the machine. God, it's... It's, a, uh, It's, a. Uh... Wait, what did he just take? It's, a. Uh, oh, I, oh, I forgot. I skipped it. It's, a. Uh, what is this thing? Okay, let's look at the funnel. A bit, well, messy. Oh! The guy just poured something in there that made it go. Let's look at the rubber band. A nice strong rubber belt, that. Uh, let's look at the chickens. Poultry power. Oh wait, they are the, the powering it? Are you shitting me? Let's talk to this guy. Huh. Good day. Can I interest you in a free sample, sir? Not on your Nelly. I, I want a free sample. Maybe we'll get a bucket then. Lovely. Let me guess. You are a traditional sorter and remover of human effluent, sir. I offer drainage with distinction. My school teacher said I never make anything of myself in life. And just look at me now. Got to the top by starting at the bottom. And people certainly stand aside when you pass by. <laughs> yeah, they do. What's that smell? It's the honey pot, sir. Honey pots? That doesn't smell like honey. Well, actually, that's a metaphor, sir. What's a metaphor? Well, in the case, sir, it's for covering up some unpleasant aspects of life what don't normally make for polite conversation. For instance, I, I say, here sir, may I, interest you, may I interest your son in an apprenticeship as a collector of honey buckets, you might stop and listen. Whereas if I asked you if you minded in your s minded if your son helped me with collecting crap Yes, yes, quite. So, your sewage collection man, is that it? Well, we in the industry prefer the term effluent redistribution and te redistribution technician? Quite. Look, all joking apart, what in an awful name is this thing? That, sir, that is actually patented sewage purification plant. Self-powered elastic belt propulsion. 
This thing heralds, heralds in a whole new age, sir. The mind truly bonds. So it uh, purifies sewage, does it? That's right, sir. Meaning it takes raw sewage and then produces... Well, pure sir, sewage, sir. The essence as if it were... I see. Jolly good. Well, I suppose I'll just leave you to it. Always here whenever you need me, sir. Well, right you are, then. <laughs> Wait, was that it? Oh, that was one, yeah. Okay. I forgot which one I already taken. Uh, there's a lot of people to talk to in this game and a lot of exploring. I like it. Should you re should really be doing this here? Ha! Huh. That's just the sort of attitude I've come to expect from your kind. You'll see, one day you'll all laugh on the other si on the other side of your faces. Look, I didn't mean anything. No, fine. Obviously, you object to my profession. I'm used to it, sir. Wish I could say it didn't hurt. Oh, look, I'm sorry. I mean, I've always looked forward to visit from the friendly neighborhood, neighborhood, effluent, effluent, effluent redistri redistribution technician, sir. Effluent. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that word correctly. Just to redistribution technician. Anyway, I always left out a little present. A glass of milk, plate of cookies, that sort of thing. You did, sir? No, not really. Still, it gave you a warm all of a globe. <laughs> For a minute, though, didn't it? You're right now. Thanks. Don't mention it. <laughs> Don't get horrible burnt to death by this monstrous of or anything. Mm. Oh, there's a spool I can do. Let's actually look at this. Ick. Can I turn it on? Oh. Oh, can I take the rubber belt? Can I take the, 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 the chickens? I want a chicken! Take his bucket? I, I want your bucket, sir. Can I please have your bucket? Flies. Huh. Ooh, I need the the butterfly net probably to get the flies. Some of these flies have got a little scarves and flying helmets. What? Really? Can I take the funnel? To have anything that I can use. Mirror, book, frog. I'm gonna use the frog on the flies. Never mind. I'm gonna use the ladder to get up there first. I want your bucket, sir. Uh, I've been looking for a bucket for a long time. A mirror. I feel like I'm missing something. I mean, in the controls. Half the time it doesn't seem like I can do anything with anything. I want the bucket! I'm... Uh... Let's not investigate that too closely, shall we? I uh, no, no. Wow, that was a weird voice. Let's leave for now. Now we know that this place exists. That's at least something. I think that I'm gonna have a conversation with just one more dude before ending this video. So let's uh, talk to this whistling guy here, the urchin. Let's look at him first. Ah, background color. God, God, but there's no expense spared in this place. Let's talk to the guy. Wait, what am I doing? I don't wanna. What the hell? Care to buy money pouch, sir? Very good, Nick. 
cost you one shilling. No, I already have a money pouch, thank you. Are you sure all oh, he stole my money pouch? Stolen? The damn thing's been stolen. Good thing I was at hand with a replacement then, isn't it, sir? Wait a minute, this looks exactly like my money pouch. You see, sir, you hardly even know your own your old pouch was gone. That's service for you. Now look, did you just steal that? Don't look at me, sir. I'm just a lovable street urchin, I am. Urchin? Yeah, you know, one of them hard things that live that lives on the seaside seaside rocks. The ones that end in points. That's a starfish, isn't it? Is it? Alright, sir. I'm a lovable street starfish then. <laughs> oh, sounds a bit fishy to me. <laughs> I'm, I'm just keen to get you to get you to shell out, guy. Okay. Look, like a second, like a second pouch, sir. Just a re reserve, so to speak, in case the worst should uh, happen. Look, if it's not too much to ask, how did you do that? Would give away my trade secret? Tell me na how you do it, and I'll. I'll turn your spleen into a tank of sea monkeys. Whoa. Ah, well, then you would. When you put it that way, Kai. Look, it's easy. Just practice on those old guys over there and get your hand in. Wait. <laughs> oh my god. Um, yeah, we're not good at this. Oh. Wait. What is that? What did I get? Did I get his underwear? No. Bloobers. That's underwear, right? Jesus. Uh. Okay. Let's go back to the urchin. I mean, starfish. <laughs> So we got a pair of underwear. What the hell do we need them for? Can I talk to him about some more? Oh, I can. Cool. You don't act like a simple street urchin. Starfish. More like a shark, I think. I've done my apprenticeship. Sir, I got my chit. Look, I challenge you to find a single bit of clean skin on me. So why aren't you more cheerful then? Shouldn't you be out scrumping apples or stealing sticks from blind old men? Well, normally I would, sir. It's just that I'm a little bit off my feet. Well, it's not good enough. You may go. You may go, just make sure you stay filthy and I want you to be Ir irrepressible by lunchtime. <laughs> Look, shouldn't you be in school or something? Nah, if you do that, you get your head stuffed with up with facts. One kid's head, ex one kid's head exploded doing that. Oh rubbish! It's true, really. Well, no, but there's no point by being a lovable stereotype without the appropriate superstitions now, is there? <laughs> I love this game. Is it a good life being a street urchin? Starfish, sir. Alright. What's it like being a street starfish? Well, it has its moments, sir. Such as? Ah, uh, well, none, really. I only do it because the chimney sweeps guild closed its door. I met a chimney sweep. He was kind of a dick. He pulled a sword at me. I mean, that's not even as it's not even as if I have a real social role. All I do is stand around providing background color, get me cheeks pinch, and gathering all sorts of clandestine information. The sword that wandering adventurers eventually find useful. Not much of a life at all, really. 
So you have any? Do you have information for me? Don't stand there. Go and get downwind of me. Well, I guess he gave me some. He he get got me some bloomers. Well, he told me how to get some bloomers. Not really the most important thing, right? Oh, I didn't really read that. Sorry. Uh, I think I'm gonna end it here. We got some things done. We got some new stuff. We got a tomato, some fertilizer, and some bloomers. We also found some new areas, like this whole scene. I didn't know this existed. So, so yeah. I will see you next time for more Discworld. Bye.